Yo, what's up, guys? How are you guys doing today? Thanks for tuning in into our stream. I hope you guys are having a good day. How are you guys doing? It's Friday. I hope you guys had a blast this week, um, you know, developing games, I don't know, school, work. Whatever it is that you guys are doing, it's finally the weekend. Let's go! It's the weekend! And before we uh, kickstart the weekend, though, as always, we have a very special live with a very special guest. I'm so, so excited um, to show you guys. If you're in the hive, then you guys can get a little sneak peek of who it is. I won't show it. I won't show it. <laughs> but what is up, guys? Buzzy Games Beth here. What is up? If you guys are new to this stream, my name is Beth or, you know, or Buzzy Beth. Uh, I'm the voice behind all the tutorials that you guys see on our YouTube, our TikToks. And yeah, that's me. Uh, if you guys see, you know, some Roblox character with a yellow hard hat, that's me. So we have tons of stuff happening today. So as always, we always start off with a communications just going over what everybody has been building throughout the week or you know throughout the months and just sharing their progress and then for the second topic we're gonna go over our very special guests who they are and what they've been doing and then for our last bit is just doing like a little quick tutorial on studio if you guys are new to scripting definitely let me know in the comments just so i can you know gauge where you guys are at or what you guys want to learn this is going to be like a very basic intro to coding and it's you know something that i kind of uh learned when i first started coding so yeah just waiting for everybody to trickle in and yeah Let's see i heard that it's i think it's oh someone said i had today off then weekend then money off for easter break oh that's right i feel like for the us this past week was spring break I think back then when I was in school, spring break was like end of March, but I know it's different for like every place. Usually it's like end of March, beginning of April. Hi, Dr. Drag. Hi, Suzuya. What's up, animal? Nick. <laughs> Hi, Pancake. For you, it was two weeks ago. Oh, let's go. What's up? Let's go. So what are some things that you guys have been working on? Um, in Roblox Studio or... Um, I don't know. In any other developing thing. This week, I've been working on... Let's see, a lot of TikTok models. <laughs> yeah. So I'm actually currently trying to plan to build a League of Legends inspired game. Have you guys heard of League of Legends? It's probably like one of my favorite games at the moment on top of Valorant. <laughs> You're working on a obby and beginner scripting. Heck yeah. I love scripting. <laughs> I love scripting so much. Um, I honestly put all of my effort into scripting that I kind of neglected building and modeling. So I'm so bad at it. Yo, what's up, Insomnia Games? What's up, MPs? League all the way. Exactly. Yo, what's up, TikTok fam? Oh, yeah. So, um, YouTube, I'm also um, on a TikTok right now. But I'm primarily uh, streaming on YouTube. Let me actually pull up the link. Sorry, you guys. Boom. Hopefully, you guys can see it. But what's up, TikTok? Thank you for tuning in. My name is Buzzy Games Beth. As you guys know, I'm the voice behind all the videos. Right now, I'm currently streaming on YouTube. So... You know, if you want to see the full stream, head over to that link right there, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So as always, let's go ahead and get started with community creations. Uh, you know, that's probably one of my favorite things ever. So let's do it. Oop. Oop. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, I almost... <laughs> All right, community creations. So we left off... Let's see. What was last week? The 8th, eh? We have so many creations to go through. I'm so stoked. Is the music too loud, by the way? Please let me know if the music is overpowering my mic. Please let me know. Let's see. 
See, I neglected scripting for a while and worked on building. Ooh, pancake. So I'm assuming uh, building is like your strongest, uh, strongest, what is it? I don't know the word, but man, I'm <laughs> having like a brain fart this whole week. But building is like your favorite part of developing slash console in chat. All right, so let's go to April 8th. Ooh, all right. So today we have Axe Whaley. We have a bunch of showcases. So let's see what you did this week. Okay, okay, word. That's pretty cool. Wait, stop. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Yo, what? A little laser attack, like, uh, you know how Superman with his lasers? I honestly, I don't know why Superman built like that. He, he just built too overpowered for no reason. This is a transfer system. Hey, yo, it's like a little bank, huh? With that said, though, I definitely need to start saving monies because <laughs> I should not go crazy. My goodness. So advanced, oh, field of FOV, field of field of vision, right? I'm pretty sure FOV stands for field of vision, right, guys? <laughs> field of vision. All right, so it changes the... Wait, is it field of view? There you go, my bad. Field of view, like point of view. I'm dumb. So Axians, oh, Axians, my man. So Axians really likes to build uh, plugins. And I'm guessing that they are currently making a... Oh, what is this? Wait, wait, hold up. Pause. Really old UI I made. Oh yeah, so Axians actually specializes in building awesome UIs and plugins. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> See, she looks cool. Try out to make those hand things. Oh, like FPS. So it says Gabriel CCBR. So you can do that too, just changing the value from a text box. Yeah, but it definitely requires some coding. But yeah, teach their own, bud. It says new plugin. Oh, that's right. So if you guys are um, not aware, we have a website called fuzzy.gg and you're able to you know access all of our safe to use toolbox. And Axians recently had a plugin uh, with uh, where <laughs> where you can oh my gosh where you can easily use badges there you go where badges are easy easily accessible for you guys to use for your game there you go so if you guys want to check it out definitely head over to our website at buzzy.gg I'm gonna do it for you guys buzzy.gg and I always do this but if you guys are new to this we have a website called buzzy.gg and our toolbox is here most of our uh, video tutorials are here and our scripts and models that are associated with these videos are available to you so you just click download and yeah so on and so forth but what's really cool is that in the toolbox not only is it things that you know that we submit it's a lot of things that our community they are also able to submit these stuff yeah so see axians recently submitted these two plugins so yeah cool 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 cool, cool. Oh, it's the Valorant menu. Oh, okay, okay. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Oh, yeah. What's really cool is that, you know, if you're not in our Discord and if you guys ever have any questions and, you know, our website is like um, available for you guys to ask questions like, hi, please help. And then an operator will get back to you guys like as soon as possible. Cool. But back to it. Back to our creations. All right. Oh, so Mr. Sunman is actually one of our creators here at Ro um, here at Buzzy Games, and they're currently making like a, a backrooms kind of vibe. Do you guys have you guys heard of backrooms? By the way, I think it's like this TikTok video that I saw. Um, it's like a like a little horror kind of vibe. I think. Yeah. Hey, right, let's go. Let's see what else. Ooh, particle emitters by. We, we, yes, <laughs> by Q U Y, we. Let's go. Gabriel CCBR says, I made a better Backrooms game and it was in two days. Honestly, you know, when we're game development, it's not really a competition. It's just more so of 
enjoying the moment when we're building and especially, you know, just being happy with your process. Um, you know, especially here at Buzzy Games, we don't want to like compare um, like who's better than who. It's just as long as you guys had fun, that's all that matters. But yeah. But I mean, if you do want to share your game, definitely do so and share it on our Discord at Creations. And I definitely want to check it out. I love horror games. I, ooh, UIs. I definitely do want to get better in creating better UIs. Cool, cool, cool. Vortex Gunner, Vortex Gunner. Let's see, Red Cliff SRDU High Mobility Slash Infiltration Kit. That's so cool. I am always amazed by Vortex Gunner and Dr. Drag's, you know, their builds and their models because, like, what? You know, I'm always speechless by their creations. It's insane. Let's see, something I'm working on. Oh, they're like a low poly game, eh? Yo, P. Simon Law. Hey, that's cute. A little cafe game. I like it. Oh, that's right, guys. So we also have an update to our Buzzy app. So remember how last week I um, showed you guys like this app, but now the uh, interface is a bit different. Look at that. Look at that. So we can actually team chat now. So instead of using Zoom, um, you know, we can always just use this plugin. I mean, sorry, this application that we've been developing or Buzzy Mike has been developing and we're able to, you know, chat with each other. So cool. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Whew. All right. That was a lot of creations. Let me see if, I, if I'm missing anything. Let's see models. Yeah, I got that last time. Ah, oh, that's right. Look at these guys. So this is in our building channel and Bryce's ocean built the city. How beautiful that is. Wow. And then Tuna has been working on, I believe on this like grocery store kind of village or center. And this is their current progress. I remember last time they just had the Tuna building, but look at that. What do you guys use to model? You guys use Blender and stuff. How about for buildings too? Do you guys use Blender for giant buildings? I'm not very familiar with building. So yeah, definitely let me know. What should I use? I definitely want to get into it. Get into it. Yeah. Hi right, guys. So with that said, we have a very special guest today. Um, I'm not sure if you guys saw. How did I get pushed all the way over here? <laughs> I'm dead. You guys are... <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys saw, but we have a very special guest. Ta-da! Let me go ahead and welcome them. So our very special guest today is Bonnie. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen in our previous stream. Bonnie definitely, um, you know, hops into our uh, stream sometimes and it's like, what's up? Bonnie is an amazing developer with a sick game. Um, and I definitely want to introduce you guys to her. So uh, Bonnie, you there? Hey, yo. See. Yo, chat, can you guys hear Bonnie? Checking, check, check, check. Chat, chat. Yeah, so TikTok, I don't think you guys can hear Bonnie, so definitely hop over to our stream chat so you guys can uh, meet Bonnie. Oh, you guys can't hear Bonnie? Oh, wait, say, Bonnie, can you say something real quick? Um, testing. Okay. I hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about now, guys? I think it's because I accidentally have you muted. Cool! Yay! Oh my gosh, every look at this! Who is that? That's Bonnie Bills! Let's go! Hi! <laughs> yeah, let's go! <laughs> Thank you so much, Bonnie, for being our stream. Um of course. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Let's go. Um, so, um, stream. So right now we're gonna actually gonna go ho go ahead and um, head over to one of Bonnie's games. And Bonnie, you wanna like um, just introduce or talk about your game real quick? Like, what's the title and basically a synopsis of it, or like what the objective of the game is? Hello? 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 Did I cut out? Yeah! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! That was such 
a good intro too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, try, okay. We're gonna pretend. We're gonna pretend. Um, I didn't ask you anything yet. <laughs> All right. So, Bonnie, um, you know, uh, what is your game um, that we're about to test? And you know, what is basically the story of your game? Like, what are we supposed to do? What's what's the gameplay and such? <laughs> oh, I think you cut out again. Did I actually? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, every time I switch from Discord, that happens. Okay, let's try that one more time. I, I. So the game that I created with the help of my amazing friends and family is called Blush Acres Roleplay. And basically it is this incredible girl-centric environment that almost, it allows um, all players to be completely creative. There are so many different houses that you can get to role play with your friends. And this it's just this incredible map that has so many different experiences um, for you to do. So it kind of took a lot of the really cool aspects from some of my favorite games. Because before I became a developer, I was actually a player. Um, and that's a big part of my channel. So I wanted to pull from a couple of my favorite different games to kind of bring my audience this environment that kind of gave them all the things that they wanted from me as a content creator and what I would have liked to see um, with the game on Roblox. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> no, that definitely um, answers it. Um, so speaking of RP, like in RP games, what do we actually, like what do you usually do? Or like, um, are there like certain jobs and stuff that we're able to pick from? Mm. So with a couple of the role play games that I've played, mm -hmm. the sky's the limit, really. You That's can true. kind of go in there and you can pretty much do anything you want. You can dress your avatar up. Mm -hmm. You can get a job. But a lot of the role play games that I've played are less dependent on like the earning money, grinding aspect right. of some Roblox games mm -hmm. and are more focused on like the overall player experience. Like, I want to be a postal worker. I'm going to get into the outfit and go through the motions of that job and play with my friends. Mm -hmm. Something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah and yeah. basically, yeah, I, I just, I really loved how with role play games, it kind of emphasized that whole, like the whole experience of like playing with your friends and that mm -hmm. whole like immersive environment rather than just doing one consecutive like task over, over and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. <laughs> so, Actually, I'm not very familiar with RP games. Um, you know, growing up, I actually mm. mainly just played like RPGs or like FPS games. So uh, when I saw your game, I was like, whoa, this this is pretty cool. Like, you know, I definitely want to try out like a game that or a type of, a type of genre that I'm not familiar with. So that's exactly yeah. what I want to do, to, like what I want to do today. and Just like play the game with you and, you know, get to normal, get to know more about how the game works and then just you know playing with our community so um yeah so let's just go ahead and hop into your game yeah yeah let's do it let's go so actually i'm gonna go ahead and send chat i'm gonna send you guys a link for you guys to play let's go ahead and click play and then i'll see you guys there let's see yeah, so go ahead and click on the link, click on servers, and then try to join the server that I am in. Let's see. All right, sorry guys, one second. I'm gonna pause. There you go. Hi, let's go. All right, so play. So, um, you know, at the starting screen, click play. Um, what are some things that we can expect? Okay, so the moment you enter into the game, mm -hmm. you should be prompted to choose a plot. Okay. So one of the one of my favorite aspects of the game is all of the houses. So like when I'm in right now, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a plot. Okay. And then once you go there, you can you can click the houses menu to choose a house that you want to place Ooh. i think we have nine different houses there might be 10 i'm pretty sure it's nine though oh, so a lot okay. of them yeah they all have like, like um pretty much anything you kind of need to role play at home mm -hmm. some of them have like cribs if you want to role play with your baby or uh -huh. like beds and mm -hmm. like a uh, pretty much everything okay you kind okay. of want you know what i mean yeah 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 well oh i love how it's so like pastel yeah, that's one of my favorite parts of the game as well. I totally love the color palette and everything. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, okay. So, 
Okay, there you go. Oh, that sounds so satisfying. <laughs> That's so cute. All right, so we should go ahead and get a house first. Is that what we should do? Yes, I think so. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, hold up, hold up. So we just claim any empty plot. Is that what it is? Yes, absolutely. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Where are you? Um, I'm at one of the far ends. I don't think there's anyone at the side that I'm at, so I can I can run to you. <laughs> Where's Bonnie? <laughs> All right, uh, chat. Let's let's just go ahead and go find Bonnie before we get a house. Or should I get a house first and then you come to me? I think you should get a house. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go get a house. Let's go to houses. Um, I feel like that's really okay. I'm gonna get it right here. Buzzy Games about to plot. All right, so I got a house. What's next? Okay. Um. Which house did you get? I still haven't gotten to you yet. Hmm. <laughs> I'm in an empty plot outside of the town. Okay. I'm not um, sure if that, I see... if that helps. I think I see a car, so I will drive to you, and then we can explore the main town. You can drive? What? Wait, that's yes, so cool. we added cars. <laughs> Wait, let's go. Wait, I think I see you. You're on, are you driving on the grass? <laughs> Oh yes, <laughs> I think that's you. I am not. I'm not the best driver in Roblox. I promise. I'm a little better in real life. Oi! Oh, there you are. Let's go. Am I able to get in? Yes. <gasps> I can. It should Let's be a prompt. Go. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, it's so. Oh, cool. I got out of the car. Oi! <laughs> okay, Let's there we go. go. All right, all right. Okay, so that area was the neighborhood mm -hmm. and then if we drive into here this is kind of like the main town it's like oops there's the grocery store and behind it is the daycare and then we have the shopping district on this side with the library and pretty much all of my favorite buildings Ooh. and we recently added apartments which is definitely my my new favorite aspect of the game Wait, the, the, I think, ooh, wait, hold on, I'm trying to change the, the, the POV real quick. <laughs> it's like stuck sorry. in my head. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, hmm. Wait, one second, one second. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, actually, let's, let's make a pit stop at each location. Let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Should we start here? Or okay, should we go. go back somewhere Yeah, let's start here, let's start here, let's start here. Oh, that's a cute yeah. car. All right, what's this? Okay, so, yeah, so these are the apartments. I think there oh. are four different, yeah, there are four different types of apartments, each with their own unique color scheme that matches the color of the building. Mm -hmm. So if we, like, start with this, oh, someone already claimed this. Hold on. We start with, oh, someone claimed all of them. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> this one is open, so let's start with this one. All right, let's um, go. So the building, uh -huh. yeah, the building is light pink, Ooh. and then if you go inside, like, all of the colors and stuff, complement that and then Ooh. i think it's like a little loft so if you like go up the ladder there are some Aww. little beds and everything and then Aww. all of the apartments have like the same floor plan and uh -huh. exactly the same furniture the colors are just different to like match the vibe of the building yeah for sure and did you like um when you developed this game um which parts yeah. like did you work on like did you focus on the modeling part the scripting part uh, the building like which ones um, was your, your your most favorite to work on? Well, I, I kind of dabbled in all of the different aspects, but the one that I did the most of was definitely the modeling and the building. Ooh, dang. Mm -hmm. how, how much, like, how long did it take you to basically build this apartment right here? This apartment took mm -hmm. me maybe, I want to say six hours. I got what? the bulk That's of it, it? done. It, yeah, I got the bulk of it done in one hour or so. Oh. Um, my sister and I were watching a movie. <laughs> uh -huh. I think it was Marry Me with Jennifer Lopez. Oh, okay, okay. Got I love most, that. Love yeah, it. I got most of it done within that movie time. And then, mm. like, the rest I got done the next morning. Oh, what? So, mm. I, don't, I don't know if you, I don't know if you two did last week, but we were building an obby. And everybody was finished, like, I gave everybody 20 minutes to build the game, and everyone was done. And I was literally still working on a single box. So I don't know how you guys build so fast. <laughs> what the heck? Honestly, I think it just comes with practice. Definitely, yep. I would say, yeah, practice. Mm -hmm, for sure, about that. <laughs> all, right, all right, where to? What's our next location? 
Um, well, I, I think th on foot we could okay. kind of go to the library. I think someone took our then... car. <laughs> someone did take the car. I we actually don't know where this. any of the other cars are. <laughs> I okay, honestly well, here love we go. the color palette. What, wait, what actually inspired the, the color palette for you? The color palette was heavily inspired by my sister, um, my sister Olivia, and mm -hmm. my friend Gianna. Okay. It kind of helped me um, work out a lot of the colors in the early, early stages of the game before it even looked like any of this. <laughs> it, um, these, these little lines that you see on the road, that was created by um, them. Uh -huh. They did it, and then, like, we kind of built around that. Okay. Because, like, when, when I used to build in other games, I had, like, a set, maybe four or five different colors that I would always build with. And right. that is something that we brought over oh. to Blush Acres and what we wanted to, like, work with. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how long were you working on this game before you actually made it public? Okay, so it was made public on my birthday, which is February 4th. Okay. And we started working on it in April of the year prior. So I think that's almost a year. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, it's, oh. it's like a year now, I think. Okay, okay. Dang. All right. Where to? Where to? The public library. Ooh. Yes, this is the library. Oh, oh guys, did you know? Fun fact. So library cards are actually free to get and libraries are actually partnering up with state parks. So if you guys love nature and you guys have a library card, you guys can go to those state parks for free. Uh, if you guys are in the States though. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it's like that. I was that. about to say, that sounds so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm sorry if you're in any other country besides the States. But yeah, yeah. so to all my um, you know, US viewers, if you guys like nature, free nature. Let's go. It's the thief who took our car. <laughs> You're trying <gasps> to come into our... <laughs> Wait, can we get the car back? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> All right. All right. We, we out. Wait, oops. Wait, wait. I don't want to drive. You drive, you drive. <laughs> okay. All right, there you go. Okay, <laughs> <She's> so... <laughs> oh, no, they're stuck. <laughs> wait, All right, we'll take them with us. We'll take them with us. <laughs> Okay. okay. Um. So we'll just do a quick um little once over. So mm. over here we have the clinic. Okay. And then behind it is the dentist office. I just hit the road code <laughs> sign. Just ignore that. <laughs> um. Behind all those buildings, uh -huh. I think uh, that is like that's like a little like role play homeless area that we added. Okay. Because okay. there was a story behind that. Okay. There's like this homeless house that I made in another game that I used to include in a lot of my role play videos. Mm -hmm. So we thought it would be fun to include it into the game as well. Okay. So one of the recurring characters in some of my old videos, Coach J, is also over there. So if we went over there, we'd see her. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go. Hey, and then we have the beach the and beach the area. boardwalk. <gasps> oh, wait, is the Ferris wheel? Are we able to go on it? Yeah, there's right. shape like little cupcakes i can't oh. remember how to get out oh wait there <laughs> Oi, wait wait okay i got in one um you kind of have to like jump at, like oh. the right time <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 next one next one oh oh let's go okay okay we in ah the scenic route guys to take a let's take a moment to enjoy the scenery a beautiful mm, the view is spectacular <laughs> it's sensational <laughs> <laughs> what's up dallas yes we got bonnie built in the stream amazing <laughs> developer if you guys um want to uh, you know come join the game that we're playing we're playing bonnie's game called blush acres so hop on and we'll see you there all right what's next where to next um, next, on foot, oh wait, hold on, I got stuck. Okay, on foot, <laughs> I think we could go to the daycare next. Okay, let's go. And the daycare was also designed by my sister and Gianna as well, my friend. Ooh. Um, So this is kind of it. There are lots of little toys you can play with. And there's a slide and everything. And I kind of love how open the entire space is. I agree. I love open space. It's not cramped, right? Yeah. <laughs> the slide that's cute wait so with like the 
Like the little... Hmm. I'm so sorry. What is this called again? This area? So this is the daycare. Daycare. That's right. Daycare. So I know you said with RP, are we able to like work here? You can. Oh. There isn't like... This one doesn't really have like a, a costume that you would like wear or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But if you were role playing with your friends and you wanted to be like the daycare worker, there is a little desk here that you could work at and stuff. And then okay. like if you wanted to, you could become like a little kid and you know do the baby <laughs> stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right, next up. What the? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just um, on the right side of your screen, press the button that says stages. Okay. <gasps> no way. And then you can Stop. choose your age. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go drive a car. <laughs> Wait, that's hilarious. You're too small. <laughs> Wait, maybe. Wait, do you think we... he'll let us into his car? <laughs> <laughs> All right, get in, squad. <laughs> the babies are taking over. Wait, that is hilarious. Oh, I'm driving. Okay. okay. All right, all right. All right. Okay, still Next still stop. very bad at this. <laughs> it, honestly, it's hard to drive cars in Roblox. It, I know. It's super it's hard. so hard. <laughs> all right. Okay, um, over here. <laughs> I keep hitting. I keep hitting the wall. Okay, I'm just going to get out of the car. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> okay, so over here we have the laundromat. Ooh. Very, very cute. Instead of going with like pinks and blues like I did with a lot of the other buildings, I went with purple or technically it's like lilac or lavender. Okay. Which I kind of thought was a cool concept. Ooh. You press the little button beside oh the door, gosh. they actually open. Let's go in. Hey, we. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Let's go. All right. It's kind of right. funny because it took like an ungodly amount of time for me to figure <laughs> out how to get it to open. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. Sometimes it, it just doesn't, it's crazy. You had to like write so much code just for it to open. You're like, all right. <laughs> I know. And that was the hardest part about like developing and stuff. It was mm -hmm. such a big learning curve for me. Yeah, like, same, same. All the artistic stuff, it was just, it was so hard. But I'm <laughs> right? very grateful for the experience. Yeah. yeah. It's it's so, um, it's so satisfying, you know, when we, when we're, when we complete, complete a project after like, working on it for a few hours <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right what's the next stop here um over here we have the courthouse Ooh. building my sister built Fancy. this in the early stages of the game and we had to keep it okay because <laughs> <laughs> it's your sister you have to keep there right? <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh that's so fun so um, when you first started developing, then I'm guessing like you you had a, a team to work with, which is basically your friends from the beginning. Is that what how it is? Mm -hmm. A lot of it was um, me and my friends and my family, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, we all kind of worked together to um, to develop a lot of the bigger aspects of the game. Yeah, for sure. Um, what actually, um, you know, so outside of Roblox Studio, were you ever thinking of like developing any games using any other? game development softwares like maybe unity or stuff like that it's actually so funny that you're saying that because i'm actually learning unity right now oh really um, but yeah oh. yeah before i before we created blood shakers mm -hmm. i was kind of thinking about like develop it or like having my own game okay. that had pretty much this entire vision but just off of roblox oh wouldn't even like at that time i didn't even know where to start with something like that right right and then oh. like yeah and then i started learning like um studio and the coding language and stuff and then you know this just became a reality yep for sure so in, on top of lua are there like any other languages that you're familiar with or already know um well at the current time i'm learning c sharp which is Ooh. used in unity mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um i know a little bit of python just from computer science but Yay! i think that's about it <laughs> oh that's great computer science wait wow so I guess, like, in the future, is game development something you want to, like, focus on? Like, something you want to do in your career? Or um, what is it that you want to do? Yeah, totally. I mean, if I were to be honest with myself, I would say that the business aspect of um, all of this is what I'm more interested in. But Ooh. I would totally love to pursue more game development in the future. Felt that. Yeah. 
ah, just games are so cool. Oh my gosh. It, oh man. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> all right. Next stop. Where to? Um, let's go to the grocery store. Ooh, all right. Let's store. Go. Yeah. It put the big grapes <laughs> on the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at those stands. Wow. Food looks so good. It almost looks edible. All right. Like when I, yeah, when I textured everything, I was so happy with the way that it looked with all the lighting in the game. Oh wait! Oh my gosh! You are we eating it? <laughs> yeah. Oh whoa! Oh my gosh! Wow. That's, an yeah, that's another thing that took a very long time to figure out. Mm -hmm. And how about the animation? Um, how was that? Oh, the animations were all done by my sister. I I can't con Ooh. I can't even accept any credit for that because I wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> animations are hard, <laughs> so hard. Right? It took me so long to figure it out in like Blender and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I used to have an animated intro on my channel, and that took days to create, wait, days wait. to rig. Wait, pause. Hmm. You you can animate using Blender, huh? Yes. What? Yes. What? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, when hey. I first started role-playing, all of the, the other girls that did role-play videos on Roblox or on YouTube, they mm -hmm. all had animated intros. And I was like, I want an animated intro too. How do I get one? And I realized it was a lot harder than I thought. Yeah. So I, I, like, officially, I only had two. Like, if you go back to, like, a, like two years ago on my channel, you'll see what the animated intro looked like. Oh. Yeah, that was it. It was done with Blender, and it took way too long to create but i'm still oh. very proud of it <laughs> um all right where to next stop next stop okay next stop okay i keep like accidentally going into the car same um, i keep next... getting run over by it <laughs> please whoever's driving it <laughs> please oh it's axie okay. <laughs> all right oh. um let's go to the bank because okay. it's close by Ooh. Okay, the bank. bank was created by my sister, and there's like, there's this really cool thing that it does when you click on the vault. Oh my gosh, is it, is it gonna is it gonna do it for me? Yeah. No, let's go. Is there is there a password? No, it's not opening. There might actually be a password. Hold on. <laughs> wow, look at this bank, guys. Sheesh. Oh. No, it's not opening. Not, that's okay. That's okay. There must <laughs> actually be a password with it then. <laughs> but only your sister knows it though. <laughs> only, only she knows it. Right? What is the saying? Uh, gatekeep, gaslight, girl boss, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. So, um, okay. Can, can you actually uh, go over the work? Like, how does that, the jobs? I'll, I want to try that out. Oh, the jobs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Think, I think I may have mentioned this to you before. Mm -hmm. We're having a little bit of issues with the jobs right now, so I oh, don't okay, okay. think they actually do work. Okay, that would have no been problem. so cool to show. And next time. Yeah, it's a work in progress. But um, basically, like, these jobs, uh, where would they happen or what would it do? Hmm. So I think we have four jobs. So mm -hmm. the first one is the librarian job, which happens back at the library. Okay. And the cool thing about that job is like, it's probably the simplest, in mm -hmm. my opinion, mm -hmm. you just have to like click the books that are turned the wrong way and then turn Aww. them the right way by clicking on them. Oh, that's so cool. And then you earn money. Okay. Yes. And so like the whole premise is like, turn all the books the right way in a complete shelf and then you get like, I think it's like $200 or something like that. Okay. 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 And then um, the other job is an Uber driver. So you just have to like... <laughs> Love it. Yeah. You just have to like pick NPCs up across the map mm -hmm. and then like deliver them to their destination. And it's as simple as that. Okay. Once again, that's like, it involves driving. So I'm definitely bad at that too. <laughs> um, and then what else? We have the postal worker. Mm -hmm. So you get a mail truck and then like across the map, there are... I was looking for an example. There are like postal boxes. There's okay. one right over there by that le yeah, oh, by I that lamppost. Okay. So then all you need to do is click on the post box to deliver mail, and then that's oh. all you need to do. You don't even need to leave the truck. It's so oh, yeah? simple. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Oh, I like how it's like mini games essentially in this yeah. huge game already. Oh my goodness. It's so interactive. I love it. But what do the clocks do? Oh, let's stretcher. Okay. Wait, I'm dead. <laughs> These props. <laughs> and then emotes. Wow. All right. 
Next up. Next stop. Okay, I grabbed one of the props. I forgot to put it down. It's okay. I'm gonna take it with me. Um, right. next stop. We're taking the kid with us. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, I don't know what else is there to see. There's a bakery over there where that giant donut is. Oh, we can visit that. Oh, that reminds mm -hmm. me. And of... then beside there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you know Randy's Donuts? Have you heard? Uh, no. Oh, oh, it, I think it's a U.S. Is that thing. a store? It, it's 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 definitely huge, a U.S. thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a huge donut store. It's very famous, and you know it's Randy's. That the franchise is called Randy's Donuts because of like a huge donut right on top of the the store. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Yay. When I think like a giant donut on top of a store, I think of like the donut place from The Simpsons. Oh wait, I was literally thinking of that too. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I promise I'm not. <laughs> wow. Okay. okay, and then over here is the lemonade store. Ooh. I love lemon flavored pastries. How about you? Oh, I love that too. Right. Mm -hmm. Lemon is like one of my favorite flavors. Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> the flavors in my mouth are melting. Do you guys know that? Fine. I mean, TikTok. No one knows no. it. Oh, no. no. I'm no. sorry. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> All right. Next, next. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Ice cream shop. <laughs> this one is another store built by my sister. Ooh. Like whoa. little ice cream cones and stuff. In the future, it would be really cool. Like just like planning wise. Okay. Like to have like players be able to scoop ice cream for other players and oh. stuff. Just like part of that whole role play experience that I was yeah. talking about earlier. Oh man, that animation is gonna take forever. No, <laughs> but it, it would be so cool though, right? Like yeah. you see the vision. Yeah, I see it. Oh man. Wait, and then maybe we can have like, um, wow, that's cool. Love it. That's mm -hmm. gonna take forever. <laughs> well, who you knows these ice cream cones? This was all my sister. Oh my goodness. That's insane. I know. What was the hardest part um, in developing this game? Oh, definitely the scripting. Oh, yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah. Like, it didn't take me long to figure out how, like, building and stuff works, mm -hmm. but the scripting was the hardest part. It definitely. I mean, I still hard. I still have some trouble <laughs> with scripting. Honestly, same, though. Uh, it's just so much, like, it, it's just so much to learn. Like, every day, I'm trying to make a tutorial. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I can also do this and add that. <laughs> wow. I know, and, like, when I, when I first started, I saw some people in some of the forums saying, like, one error in your code is fatal. And yes. then, like, I finally know, like, that's so true. Right? One mistake can just change everything. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Especially, like, oh, my goodness, what is it? When uh, a letter is not capitalized, and you're like, wait. I know. Oh. <laughs> and that's so hard for me because I'm one of those people that can't spell to save their lives. Same. And, like grammar and stuff. I don't think about that. So then as soon as I started coding, I was like, oh, okay, this is good. And then it'll come back with an error. And I'm like, what's wrong? Right. And like, and what's so annoying is like sometimes or the output, it always tells you what's wrong. Right. And then you're like, bro, hmm. but it is right. Like I am spelling everything right. And it's like, oh, wait. It's because I forgot a capital uh, over it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So for your game, um, so what are like some future updates that you're planning to add, if you don't mind uh, sharing? Oh yeah, no worries. Um, mm -hmm. one of the biggest that I would say would be a building system. Oh, that's that, right. That's that's like the ultimate goal. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, a that was system. that was um, yeah. Ooh, kind of oh. like um like Sims Four. Oh, like, there was that allure with the Sims when I was like younger, like ten years ago. Right. Mm -hmm. I love Sims because I can like build my Sims this house and stuff. And like at first I played um Sims Free Play and the building system there was so cool. And then when I finally played Sims Four a couple years later, I was like, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. And like as, mm -hmm. like to my knowledge, there are only a certain number of games on Roblox that allow. For that aspect of yeah, um, the whole building your experience, system. yeah, yeah. So that's definitely um, a future update that we would love to implement mm. into Blush Shakers. So, with like the building system, um, well, like where yeah. would you put it? Um, definitely in the neighborhoods. Oh. Like in the future, like 
in my, my vision is that when a player enters into the game, they mm -hmm. can choose a plot and they can either place a pre-existing house mm -hmm. or sorry, a pre-built house, right. or they can just leave their plot empty and they can build their own house. Oh. Oh my! Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I totally what you mean. Oh, yeah. So when they build their houses, though, um, would it be? I know, like this is like in the future, definitely like um, a vision that you hmm. have. Um, would people have to like earn money to continue building their homes to upgrade it, or would it be like they have unlimited resources right from the get go? No, I think it would be really cool if mm -hmm. the building system was free. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. Like I yes. played. Mm -hmm. I've played other games that um, want that that um, that force players to have to like um, to work to earn currency and stuff. But mm -hmm. it it would be cool if it had that feature. No, yeah. don't don't quote me or anything. Now that no, no, that no, is yeah. subject to change in the yeah, future. Just an idea. Just an idea. Currently work your progress. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, are there any other games that you have built outside of Blush Acres? Hmm, there are a few games that we started. Just to like get our feet wet with um, scripting and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think we have uh, Last Online Checker. Um, we created the Find the Game at the beginning of the year. Find uh -huh. the Crayons. Mm -hmm. And um, there are some other ones. I think we created like a mugshot simulator where you can create your own mugshot, mugshot. as if you were arrested <laughs> or something. <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think it's just those. Okay, okay. Um, when, uh, growing up, like what kind of games did you play like for me it was like mostly like mmorpgs and like fps mm -hmm. like what kind of games did you play uh mostly um i was definitely one of those um ipad kids for like three years <laughs> so i played a lot of like role play games okay. like animal jam oh. um yeah sims free play sims, yeah uh, i don't yeah <laughs> um movie star planet for a little bit i i don't know if that would count as one of those role play games but i mm -hmm. think so um oh. and moshi monsters wait i know yeah i know exactly what that is yeah yeah oh that's a that's a throwback for sure oh i know right <laughs> have you heard of uh maple story by any chance no i haven't oh yeah okay, okay, yeah so yeah, that was like my favorite yeah like i said i played a lot of mmorpgs um growing up that was my favorite game ever so um, thank you, Bonnie, for being on our stream. I had tons of fun, you know, um, talking to you, and just exploring your game. Uh, thank yeah. you so much for having me. Yes. No, thank you for like, you know, <laughs> being on our stream. <laughs> um, do you like- No have problem. Any, yeah, do you have any like send offs, like um, a YouTube that you want to, you know, like shout out or, um, you know, uh, uh, just to end, I guess this segment? Um, okay, well, I just want to say thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you for hearing about my story and the story of my game. Um, you know, you can, you can like subscribe to my channel if you want. You don't have to, but <laughs> subscribe to Buzzy Beth because she inspires so many of us female developers to keep creating things. Thank you. Thank you. And as always, subscribe to Bonnie Builds. Um, if you guys are seeing it in the chat, definitely click on, click on their YouTube account. They make really fun vids. Um, but, you know, um, on the topic of, you know, girl game devs, if you're a girl uh, game developer watching this right now, I just want to let you know that Buzzy Games is the perfect platform for you guys to, you know, ask questions, you know, um, that you're, you know, don't know where to ask. Our community is open for you guys. Uh, we're all about, you know, supporting girl game devs. So come join our Discord. Come join our website. And I can't wait to make some games with you guys and, you know, make more videos so that everybody can learn. So with that said, thank you so much, Bonnie Builds. Um, I appreciate you, and I really hope we can maybe build a game together one day. Eh? <laughs> I would love that. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> for sure. I hope you have a good one. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yay, guys. So uh, with that said, um, yeah, Bonnie Builds, amazing developer. So, so cool to have her on the stream. Um, yeah, so we have about like 10 minutes left of the stream. And it's yet. And I just wanted to go ahead and like go over some studio basics. Let's do it. Hey, yo. I want to show you guys some things that I've learned or Let's see, I have like so much stuff open. I'm sorry, guys. Let's do new. Let's do base plate. Who's who here is new to scripting? Just so I can have an idea of what to show you guys. 
or are you guys like have you guys scripted before are you guys familiar with it any questions anybody chat chat Yeah, let's go. I've gotten it perfect. All right, guys. So, yeah, <laughs> what's scripting? It's a drawing. <laughs> and thank you so much for being in our stream, Bonnie. I had so much fun. Ah. You said I'm nine months into scripting. I can help. I just started with strings and output. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so today we're just going to go over, you know, what variables are. Um, literally, like, the like the most basic thing you can think of um, when we're scripting, just so that you guys can have an idea of, you know, what scripting is. So scripting is essentially literally, it, we, we type a code and then it tells the computer what we want it to do. So for example, I have this part and I want it to be red. So yes, you know, you can just, here, let me, whoop, <laughs> there you go. So yes, we can change basically our properties. You know, we can just set the color of our thing red here, but we can also change the properties of that using a script. How do you make a base plate where it strings as you play? You know what? I think I've done that before. It's probably a, a video, like one of the first videos. So definitely watch that. He says, I wish I could join, but, I, but I'm going to school right now. No. So... You know, um, so today let's go ahead and show you guys what a variable is. Yeah, let's do it. So inside of our workspace, let's go ahead and add a script. So do you guys know what a print statement is? Chat, print statement is literally exactly how it sounds. It prints whatever is in these parentheses and the quotation marks. So right now, if I click play, in my output window, you'll see that it says, hi, it says, hello world. <laughs> in any coding, in any language that you guys learn, the first thing you will always learn is hello world. Yeah. I, now I want you guys, if you have studio open, go ahead and type in here. Let me actually make it bigger so you guys can see. Boom. That's right. Sheesh. Yeah. So obviously what is it going to print out? It's going to print out right over here, sheesh, right? So anytime you guys are, you know, like when you guys are first learning how to script or anytime you add in a script, the first thing you will see is this print statement. It's just the default thing. I don't know why, it's just, yeah. But it's also used, it's perfect to use, you know, when you're writing a code, like blah, 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 and you wanna make sure it's working. So you add a print statement to see if it, you know, your line is working, cool. So let's learn what a variable is, yeah? So first thing, some few rules that we need to make sure is that in a variable, you cannot start with a number, all right? So that means you cannot do this. No, 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 that's not good. You gotta make sure it starts with a letter. You also can't use special characters. So what I mean by that is you cannot do this. You cannot start a variable with these letters. No, 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 nor. I <laughs> can't do that, right? Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Oh, you also cannot have spaces in your variable. So that means local, let's do hi. Let's do my name, right? You cannot do that. It has to be one, right? Now, what is a variable? So a variable is like a placeholder for a bunch of things. A number, a name, you know, literally anything. So let's go ahead and create a variable. So variables always start off with the word local. So if you guys have seen in my videos and you're like, why is Buzzy Beth always starting her scripts with local? Because I'm always writing out my variables and a variable start off with local. Now you technically could, you know, write a variable without local, but it's good practice to always start your variables off with local. So let's do local number, all right? So my variable is number, but I have to set it to equal to something. Remember, I said a variable is a placeholder for a number, a name, whatever, right? So let's say local number is five, yeah? All right, 
<laughs> All right, so let, stop me if I'm confusing you guys. So right now I have a variable that is equal to five, right? So if I do this, print number. So remember how I did a print statement earlier, you guys? Remember it prints whatever is in the quotation marks or in the parentheses. If I click, oh no, <laughs> no. Oh no, was I in play this whole time? No, <laughs> wait, please, please. Oh my gosh, okay, local number is equal to five. Let's go ahead and print. Print, right, is number, yeah? So if I click play, what am I gonna see? I'm gonna see the number five, let's go! So let's say we want to make a variable for foods. Well, that's really easy. Okay, so let's say I have a part, yeah? Let's go ahead and name it food. Let's name it cookie, yeah? I wanna create a variable for my cookie. Now, that's very simple. So I have my script inside of Workspace. So right now, let's do local, yeah? Let's do local food is equal to, so let's go ahead over to workspace dot cookie. All right, does that make sense you guys? Cause to find, to, so the cookie part is inside of workspace. So I can't just say local food is equal to cookie because that's not right. We have to find it in workspace because the cookie is inside of our workspace. So we do workspace dot cookie and then you can write whatever you guys want after that. Swag. Let's go, Stewie P thing. But yeah, guys, so you know, that's very intro basic, very the very basics of coding. But um, yeah, if you guys want to practice, you know, changing the properties of a part, though, let's go ahead and add a script inside of our part. Yeah, delete our print statement. We don't need that. Now, anytime we add a script inside of our part, our part is the parent of our script. Does that make sense? So if I click on the script and you click see in the properties, you'll see that here where it says parent, the part is the parent of the script. It's like a family. So this part gave birth to the script essentially is like, is like what I like to say, yeah? All right, so then that means when I create a variable for it, I don't do workspace.part no, because the script is already inside of our part. So I just do script.parent. I hope that makes sense. So because the part is the parent of our script, we just do script.parent, which references this part right here. Yeah, cool. And now we can just change the, I don't know, let's change the color of it, yeah? So we do dot brick color. I got this right here, brick color from the properties menu. Brick color. So that's how I knew how to use brick color. So I do part dot brick color is equal to oi, brick color, do dot new, or you can do dot, you know, these basic um, colors right here, white, random, yellow palette, whatever. But let's do new. So I can pick one of these colors over here. Yeah. So let's do maroon because it's probably one of my favorite colors at the moment. Yeah. Cool. So right now you guys see how this part right now is gray, but because I just changed it with the script to change maroon and I click play, let's go, it's red, see? Now, like I said, yes, you can change the properties of these in the properties menu, but it's good practice to learn how to change, you know, our properties using script. So I just changed the prick color using script. Let's go ahead and change the, let's do, let's change the transparency of it, yeah? Is equal to, let's do 0.5, yeah? All right, so if I go ahead and click play here, right now it's solid, right? So that means it's zero. But if I click play here, my part should be red and somewhat transparent, yeah? Sheesh, so cool, so cool. All right guys, so yeah, this is just, you know, very basics to, coding. I'll build onto it, you know, throughout the weeks in our stream. Um, I want to start from the beginning and then throughout the, you know, the weeks, it'll get more, ch uh, more challenging and so on and so forth. But, you know, for the next few weeks, we're just going to learn what a variable is, what our loops are, what our functions. Um, so you guys can get into the loop and learn how to code. But unfortunately, I do have to end the stream. Let me go ahead and hop into the hive to say bye to you guys. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, is it beginner thing to talk about? Uh, let's see. Oh, I'll talk about local scripts and scripts next week. The difference between it. Uh, Jelly said, wait, what is this about? Oh, it's just, I was just going over what the variables are and the very, very basics of coding. I don't know why it's not loading. No. All right. I don't, I don't think it's, I think the server might have shut down. Host game jam, please. Oh yeah, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. I definitely will do a game jam in the future for sure. That is a fantastic idea. I forgot about that, Axians. Yeah, with no problems. Welcome, Jelly. Thank you for tuning in. I don't think it's working at the moment, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it on our Discord then. So thank you for tuning in, you guys. Uh, my name is Buzzy Beth. Thank you for tuning into my stream. If you guys are not aware, we have a Discord channel and a website for you guys to, you know, Come talk about Roblox Studio or other games. Share your creations. This platform is for you guys to create awesome things and share your hard work. But, oh, what's up, the dev doge? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I do have to end the stream right now. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic Easter or a fantastic weekend if you guys don't celebrate Easter. And um, as always, hopefully, I'll see you guys on our Discord. Our website is buzzy.gg. And I'll catch you guys next week at 5 30 p.m pst i am so sorry to my east coast people i know that is super late or anybody who is <laughs> uh, you know not in the states i know it's probably like one in the morning for you but yes happy friday i hope you guys have an amazing let's see weekend and i'll catch you guys later peace